physical media, digital media, discs, streaming. It's a battle that's going on quite a lot nowadays. And I think it's going to keep on going for quite some time. But we've got a good little video to discuss and talk about the pros and cons of each. Maybe you're somebody who's thinking about go going to the realms of getting a 4K box or a streaming device. Maybe you're somebody who's thinking about getting a 4K Blu-ray player, but you don't know whether it's going to be something that's going to be around for a long time. Do you invest money into this technology, into the hardware that you need for you know, the 4K Blu-ray players? They're not cheap. They're not 30 quid. There is still a fair good amount of money. You can get them cheaper nowadays. Of course you can, but you still got to invest for this. You know, everyone's got their own opinion on the media nowadays. I mean, I personally, I personally, I support both. As you can see, I have a huge collection of films and Apple TV. I also have a huge collection of physical media. Now, if I had to pick one or the other, I'd pick physical media. And like I said, we're going to go into the pros and cons of each. So let's start with physical media. Why is it worth getting into the world of physical media? What's Why is it worth investing in this kind of thing? These are all be my personal preference. This is just The Shape of Water, by the way, 4K uh, Steelbook here, I'm using as an example. So, number one, when you buy it, physical media, you're buying something. Sounds stupid, right? But it's true. If you go and buy a big catalogue of films on streaming devices, like I've done, and I spend a lot of money on streaming devices, you're not owning anything. Okay, yeah, Apple should hopefully be around for many, many years as a big company. But what if they go bust? I mean, we'll come to that side of things later, but the main thing I'm talking about here is that you own something. When you buy a disc, buy physical media, physical media it's yours. You keep it. It's yours to have, to hold, to use, to whatever. So it's, that's the first thing, the fact that you have it in your own possession. You've actually paid for something. A bit like digital video games. I've never understood why digital video games and even Kindle books, for example, sometimes are the same price as the physical, but you're not buying anything. Surely if you're buying a digital game, you're not paying for the production of the disc and the materials and the shipping and all that stuff. So I never understand why sometimes they're the same price as physical. It makes no sense. But I'm going to go off on a tangent a lot here. So that's my first tangent. Apologies. Back to this. Second reason. Quality. Now, this is, again, uh, a topic of contention, of argument, and it depends on your internet speed. Here in the UK, our internet speed is not the greatest. It can be fantastic in some areas, 100 megabits per second. In America, 100 meg can be seen as really, really slow, I, I believe. But 100 meg over here is fast. You know, Apple recommend you stream 4K at 25 megabits per second, what they recommend, I believe, and this has changed to have 4K and enjoy 4K at good quality. With a disc, you haven't got to worry about that. The quality is on the disc. Everything is loaded and stool installed and fitted and part of that disc. You put that disc in your Blu-ray player, there it is. The full fat baby is there for that bit disc to digest and take in. And that's one reason why I think the quality of physical media outweighs and destroys in some sense, some cases, streaming. Don't get me wrong, streaming, you're okay. You still got it, baby. But physical stuff, I just think the quality, picture-wise, the sound is tighter. It's better. It's more controlled. It's stronger. I can't explain it. It's just you just get a better experience from a physical picture and physical and physical media sound and picture wise because like i said everything's on the disc hasn't got to put it from the internet and then process it and put it on screen it's just there to read from and they can whack it in it's not compressed they can whack it on the disc and it's there so that's another reason why i think physical media is a winner a third reason artwork look at this you don't get that on digital yeah sure you may have a little thumbnail picture of the film you're about to watch. And it may be this, maybe something similar. But, you know, when you get physical media, you're able, like I said, you're able to pick it up and you get things like this. You get still books. 
yeah, okay, they might be two, three, maybe even four times or higher the price of a digital piece of of, uh, of the same film. But again, you've basically bought a bit of art in some ways. And if you're someone like me who appreciates artwork of the films and that sort of thing, then, you know, you're going to enjoy the fact that you've got this and you own this and you can look at it and you can feel pride. And, and it makes, in my eyes, putting a film on a bit more of an experience. I know a lot of people say that with records. People say, well, you've got records for, but, you know, put it on Spotify, put it on web, some streaming streaming service. That's great, but they say how when you put a film on, or like a record on, you're putting on, you're committed yourself to watching the whole thing because you you know, you know can't change track on an LP, I believe. You can just put it on, you listen to the whole thing, and it becomes experience. Same with this. You go over to your collection, you look at it, and you go, what do I want? Oh, I fancy Shape of Water. You take it out. You've got this beautiful artwork to look at. And again, you've bought this, it's yours. I just think it's something really nice to have. You've got another part of that experience of watching a film. The, the, the collection, the owning the collection. That goes into my fourth reason. Having a physical collection to look at. To show off to friends, to pick through, become your own little cinema, your own, your own uh, you know, on-demand rental as such you can, you can look at your films and so on you can categorize them people find that relaxing whatever they you know there's multiple reasons why physical media is, is great they're the main reasons i can really think of right now because i've not scripted this it's just me talking hence why i'm rambling so, so apologies for that but they're some of the reasons why i can think of why physical media is a great thing to invest in to have to you know to own and i personally favour physical over digital. Now, digital has obviously become very, very popular in the last few years, especially with the, with the launches of things like Netflix, Disney Plus recently, Amazon Prime Video, and there's more and more going on there. And there's more and more being added on because it's, it's very simple. It's on the internet, it's there, it's easy to access. And that's the first reason or the pro for why I think Digital has got something over media, physical media. And that's the fact of access. It's there. It's there. Right there to go and get. You turn your TV, you turn the box, there's your collection. You can just flick through it, find what you can want. You can ask, you can, you know, some of these you can ask it with a microphone. Find me this director, find me this actor. You can put the film on and watch it. Instant access. You haven't got to get up. You haven't got to be lazy and get up and find the disc, put the disc in the in the Blu-ray player and all that stuff. You can just put it on and you're done. So that's one reason what this benefit's got over physical media. The second reason is the fact it doesn't take up any space. As much as I love these, they take up space. And eventually, if you want to become a you know a big collector of physical media, you need to find space and bookshelves or drawers or whatever. I mean, if you want to display it, it can't be a drawer, so you've got to find shelves and, you know, it can become another another cost on top of collecting these as it is. This, there. There's no limit, really, for how many you can have. It's just there for you to use and collect as many as you want. And they're already categorised into action adventure and horror and sci-fi which is great so you can click on it find it again it goes back to that same first thing access it's there this you have to categorize it yourself it could be a pro it could be a con another reason for this they're cheap digital media is very very cheap only today i saw that rambo rambo films are on apple tv in 4k Four ninety nine each in Dolby Vision. Now the physical version of our Rambo, that isn't Rambo, I'm fully aware, but this is that's Rambo on 4K disc. That's gonna cost you £20 as opposed to a fiver. So already digital is winning. Digital has Dolby Vision. So if you have Dolby Vision, you want that. Because this, for some reason, Apple TV is getting the ability to have the films in Dolby Vision where the discs are only in HDR10. I don't know if that's the, the, the distributor's own version of Dolby Vision, exclusive for digital, or whether it's Apple's own creation of Dolby Vision, I don't know. But often now, 
I think I've seen things like Mad Max Fury Road, the Harry Potter collection. Those things aren't on Dolby Vision, well, at least here in the UK, on disc, but they are on Apple TV. So what I'm trying to say is, for the price of 4 dollars I've got Rambo in 4K Dolby Vision. On the disc, for £20, so four times the price of digital, you get 4K again, you get HDR, but you don't get Dolby Vision, you do get more special features, you do get better sound quality, but again, you, it's a personal preference. You want to pay more and get more, you want to pay less. You know, if maybe if, if it's your favourite film of all time, then get it on digital, get it on physical. If it's a film you want to see occasionally, you're not too fussed about it, you know, digital is so cheap. It's so cheap to pick up. And you have digital sales and Black Friday sales and all that kind of stuff. So this is where digital has quite a big hand over physical media. In that 4K Blu-rays outside of eBay and stuff don't really reduce a lot in price too much. You might get the occasional 2 for 30 or even 3 for 30 sometimes on Zabby uh, here in the UK. But this has it sometimes, a majority of the time, on cost. But again, like I say, you then think, well, do you pay more and you get that better quality? You know, it, again, it, I think it depends on film to film. Like I say, if it's a film you're not too bothered about or a film you really want to watch again and own, but you're not too fussed about having the best picture quality or sound quality, you buy digital because it gives you the option of having not to waste £20 and you're spending a fiver. So for the price of getting all three Rambo films, for example, 15 quid, you could only get, not even get one of these. It's crazy. Another reason to have digital is it goes with you. If you go on holiday, if you're, going, if you're at college, university, it comes with you on your iPad, on your iPhone, on your Android, whatever. It comes with you wherever you go. So you do get that option as well of digital. So that's another reason. But again, the downside to digital might be you not, might not have fast enough internet. Your internet might go down, in which case you can't access your media. In which case, this is always here and ready for you to use, providing you've got the right hardware. But the downside of this is cost to set up to get the hardware, cost to buy the films, space. So, you know, there is pros and cons for either and that's why I support both I support both of these formats I prefer physical media when and where I can get it because I own it I can appreciate the packaging the artwork um, what I've bought I can show it off I can admire what I've what I've bought when your collection you can have a good browse through it as opposed to flicking through pixels effectively so you know, that's the other thing as well I forgot to mention with the digital. Like I said, you often have exclusive special features in digital. Apple do a lot of exclusive special features. So, for example, I believe Terminator Dark Fate has an exclusive commentary on digital. And it's not, I don't think it's not on the disc. So they do have exclusives on digital as opposed to physical. But again, it's all personal preference. But, you know, I, I hope this video's maybe helped you decide what to do. If you're thinking about whether to buy one of these, uh, you know, a 4K Blu-ray player, invest in one of those, whether to invest in an Apple TV box. You know, I, I recommend if you can get both, get both. You then have the opportunity to do both and you can separate what you want to do and choose. If you're a fan and you want to see the films in the best quality they can be, Invest yourself in a good 4K Blu-ray player and you can do it with this, with the physical media. If you're somebody who wants to just be able to have a huge collection of stuff, so much stuff, you're not too bothered about compression rates and the internet speeds, maybe go for the digital. But yeah, I hope this video has helped out um, some of you guys out there. If you do like the video, please do like it uh, and even subscribe if you have been enjoying these videos. I hope to do more things like this, discussions and talks and stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully you, you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.